those people who have leadership skills. They've been blessed with talents to lead. But because of selfish reasons, or sometimes perhaps they're diffident, and they do not want to offer themselves for leadership positions, all in the name of modesty and humility. What does it mean for the community? At the end of the day, the community will be the loser because those who could lead are not leading. And because those good leaders are not leading, they're not willing to sacrifice themselves. What we have would be corrupt leaders. And these are the leaders who serve their own interest. That is why those who have been called to leadership, when they fail to respond, the whole community will suffer. Jesus is not against those who aspire for leadership position, provided they have the right motive. Leadership that comes with authority is not for ourselves, not to boost our ego, but it is always for the sake of service, serving the common good, uplifting the poor, the marginalized, the vulnerable, protecting the weak, and helping the community to grow strong. And that is the reason why authority is given to the leader. Authority also comes with respect. Leaders are respected when they hold position of authority because without respect, they cannot lead. And when we speak about respect, we also speak about privileges. Privileges comes with responsibility, with position. But we must be very clear. These privileges that are given to a person in authority is not given to the person per se. It is given to the position, to the office. In other words, if you are a very important person, if you are someone who holds an important office, when you attend a function, you'll be offered a ceramic cup of coffee. But if you were just an ordinary attendee, all you deserve is a styrofoam cup of coffee. But remember this, those of us who are in authority, one day when we are no longer in office, that ceramic cup is not meant for us. All of us, we only deserve a styrofoam cup, and that is life. A person who clings to his privileges clearly shows he is not a leader that serves with selfless motive. He is serving because of his position, because of privileges, not because he wants to serve the people first and foremost. Those who are truly leaders are those when they give up their office, they will give up their privileges. Because all of us, when we do not hold positions of authority, we are all ordinary. We are all the same. This is where it is important to ask ourselves, are we truly self-serving or serving the people? If we want authority, what is the purpose of the authority? The real test of a leader who is selfless is when the leader is willing to use that authority, not to gain popularity, but to do the right thing. As a leader, just like Jeremiah, like Jesus, they were outspoken against injustices, hypocrisy, and they were willing to suffer rejection. Unfortunately, today, many people use their authority and position more to keep their position and their authority by always saying things that are politically correct, that please the ears of their listeners, not so much because it is the truth. To speak the truth 
of course, will invite great oppositions. And people will ridicule us, they will insult us, they will even threaten us. But that is the price of leadership. True leadership is always willing to be like Jesus, to be condemned, to be put to death, and to give our lives a ransom for many. To speak the truth, to do the right thing against popular opinions, against what the world is saying, requires tremendous courage and fortitude. A leader is called to give his life as a ransom for many. How many leaders can actually say to Jesus, I shall drink the cup that you drank? Often in the face of persecutions, we all give up our leadership or we fall into temptations. So my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is inviting us to reflect and to most of all, to purify our notion of leadership and truly to be life-giving in service and always in great humility.